Hi, my name is Alex and pre-search mainnet is just around the corner and it is necessary to have your node connected by 12 a.m. UTC on May 25th of this year. So mainnet is coming out on May 26th and they are expecting to have your nodes connected by that time. And for those who don't know what mainnet is, pre-search put out an article on Medium detailing what mainnet is and why is it so monumental for pre-search. But for those who have nodes, what mainnet pretty much means is that your rewards are guaranteed to go up during that time. However, in order to do so, your nodes needs to be connected by at that time. So this is a quick video on how to reset your node if your node are disconnected. All right, so how to research or pre-search nodes. So this tutorial is basically for people who already have nodes. If you can see from my own personal website and my own node, I have four nodes. However, one is disconnected and currently it's on a version of 9.60 and I want that at 1.0 instead. So hopefully by the end of the tutorial, I can hopefully have it at the right version. All right guys, so the first step on what you need to do is download a software called Putty. And Putty is basically your access to your VPS server and I found it as the easiest way to access your server. So the second thing that you need to do is go into your email and look for your subscription service. In this case, I'm using Ragnarok for my VPS and I found this as the associated account with my uh, current node that is disconnected. So the information that you need is your IP address, your username, and your root password. So when you first open up your uh, PuTTY configuration, it should look like this. And this is where you're gonna input your IP address from the info that you got from your VPS server. So I'm just going to do that right now. Open login. I believe everyone should be root. Enter. I'm going to copy control C, copy my password. And to actually input your password, you have to just right click and your password isn't actually going to show. But once the green rectangle is filled, that means your password has been inputted. Enter and I should uh, access my VPS server. So there's actually two ways of restarting your pre-search node. And I kind of had to learn it through the hard way. So there's the first way of inputting your commands and you can find it on their uh, pre-search docs site and I'll have the link in the description below. But technically, if you put these lines in, you should be able to restart your nodes. So technically you can copy, paste, copy the next line, and paste. And these two lines will stop your pre-search node and to restart it, copy, paste. And the last one, and to check if the node servers are running, Okay, I'm not too sure exactly what that means, but it seems like it is up. If you want to see the current log of your node, you can also use this line right here. So it seems like everything is up and running. If I go back to my pre-search node dashboard, I should see that it is up and running. All right, so if these lines work for you, that's perfectly fine, but I did have a problem before where the version of my node was way too old to update. So in that case, if your node is too old, you can pretty much make a new node and it's a pretty simple process of doing that. And I'll actually show you right now. So the first thing that you wanna do is actually get your registration code and you can get it right here, copy, and you want to paste it somewhere where people can't find it. Once you've done that, you want to go to this page right here, copy this line, onto a notepad or anywhere that you want, and input your registration code right here. And once you have done that, I have inputted my information right here, and all I have to do is press enter, and that should help you uh, create your new node or reinstate your node that you already had with the current stake amount that you were previously using before. So going back here, I can see that my node is still currently running and hopefully I can get back to mainnet. So guys, that's the end of the tutorial. And if you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. Again, please like and subscribe. And in the future, we'll be bringing more related videos that would basically bring value to you guys. Again, my name is Alex and thank you for watching this video.